Hello students, today we're going to be doing a demonstration of the electrolysis of copper chloride. In the beaker that you see sitting in front of you is a solution of copper 2 chloride. Copper chloride is an electrolyte, which means now that it's dissolved in water, it will conduct electricity. The two black rods are graphite electrodes. Graphite is the same material that's found in pencil lead, and it is a very good conductor of electricity. Both of these electrodes are connected to a 9 volt battery by alligator clips. The green clip is connected to the positive end of the battery, making it the positive electrode. The red alligator clip is connected to the negative end of the battery, making it the negative electrode. So the first thing you want to do on your paper is you want to draw a picture of this apparatus. Um, and labeling the important parts. So the parts that we need to label are going to be the copper two, the copper chloride solution, the positive electrode and the negative electrode, and the battery. So pause the video and take a moment to label those four things. So now we're going to connect the um, electrodes to the battery and make some observations about what we see happening. We should be able to see that right away that bubbles are forming at the positive electrode. And the negative electrode seems to be taking on some kind of color change. Now let's speed up the video a little bit so we can watch this change take place a little bit faster. So we can still see bubbles being produced at the um, positive electrode. And the negative electrode definitely has turned this reddish color. And it looks like it might be getting a little bit thicker as well. Now, if we pull the negative electrode out of the solution, we can clearly see that it's covered in this reddish um, solid. You can even see a little bit drip onto the paper. Now, since the solution contained um, copper chloride, it's reasonable to assume that this reddish solid is in fact um, solid copper metal that's being formed. Therefore, the bubbles of gas forming at the positive electrode, if the solution only contains copper chloride, are likely chlorine gas. Now what you need to think about is the fact that both of these substances, when they're dissolved, are ions. So the copper ion starts off dissolved in solution. It then becomes solid copper metal at the negative electrode. If copper is being attracted to the negative electrode, what must the charge of the copper ion be? Likewise, the chloride is starting out as a dissolved chloride ion. If neutral chlorine gas is forming at the positive electrode, that means the chloride ion is attracted to the positive electrode. If the chloride ion is being attracted to the positive electrode, what must the charge of the chloride ion be? The last thing that you're going to want to think about with regards to this lab is you're going to want to think about how the electrons are moving when each substance goes from being an ion to a neutral element. So what's happening to the electrons when the copper ion goes from being a dissolved copper ion to solid neutral copper metal? Likewise, what's happening with the electrons when the chloride ion goes from being a dissolved chloride ion to neutral chlorine gas?